Body States by Dr. Gilbert. This is your body. This is your mind. This is what happens in your body under stress. In the short term, in the brain, trouble concentrating, distractibility, overwhelm, insomnia, sexual dysfunction, and increased self-doubt. The cardiovascular system, increased heart rate and blood pressure, increased vascular resistance, and sometimes heart attack. GI, increased stomach acid, ulcers, gastroesophageal reflux disease, decreased blood flow to the kidneys. Musculoskeletal system, muscle tension, headaches, chest tightness. The endocrine system goes into fight or flight mode, causing increases in norepinephrine and epinephrine. The adrenal glands increase cortisol. The pituitary increases prolactin, endorphins, and vasopressin. The pancreas increases glucagon, and reproductive and growth hormones drop. When stressed, the body borrows resources from the immune and endocrine systems. There's a release of T lymphocytes and the blood vessel walls secrete a substance that binds these cells creating plaque. Increased ACTH blocks interferon which then reduces responsiveness of white blood cells. Over the long term, stress causes decreases in brain derived neurotrophic factor required for nerve growth. Brain cells die, people can become depressed and have strokes. There's damage to the fear circuitry of the brain. Impaired focusing, processing of information, and problem solving. We become more prone to heart disease, hypertension, irregular heartbeat, atherosclerosis, claudication, and cardiac arrest. Gastritis, peptic ulcer disease, irritable bowel disease, and diabetes. Muscle tension, chronic pain, and sexual dysfunction. We're more likely to catch colds, take longer to recover and heal after surgery, infections, or heart attack. The cells in our body actually age faster. A gene that enhances production of lymphocytes and boosts activity of killer cells can be reduced by 50% and will have a weakened response to flu vaccines. When you do something calming, you're telling your brain that there's no current threat and your neurochemistry can restabilize. Your heart rate and blood pressure will go down. You'll consume less oxygen and put out less carbon dioxide. Your digestion will improve as will the blood flow to your kidneys cleaning up toxins. Cortisol levels go down and the sympathetic and autonomic nervous systems settle down. Your immune system gets to recharge. When you feel angry, and even from carrying resentments, your brain's focus of attention will be narrowed. You're walking around in attack mode. Feeling anger and shame increase cortisol, especially when it feels personal. Righteous or justified anger can become an addiction because it stimulates the pleasure center. Your heart rate and blood pressure will run high, and your muscles will be tense, causing symptoms like headaches, neck, and back pain. Many people carry their emotions in their guts. Testosterone, adrenaline, and cortisol levels will be high. There's evidence that feeling loved enhances the immune system. It's possible that feeling anger weakens it. When you feel love, or even simply creating loving feelings in your mind, you're stimulating your pleasure center. Your serotonin, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and dopamine levels all go up. Oxytocin, a love hormone, goes up. And we put out pheromones, sexual attractants. Loving relationships correlate with less infections and quicker healing after heart attacks, surgery, and other trauma. Loneliness has been shown to be a huge risk factor for catching the common cold, even stronger factor than smoking. When you exercise in the short term, 
Increased norepinephrine and epinephrine enhance your mood. Endorphins are released and can produce euphoria. The brain consumes more oxygen. The stress response can be blunted for up to 24 hours. Your heart rate and blood pressure will go up. You'll sweat. And increased ammonia production causes fatigue in the muscles. When you exercise regularly over a longer period, what you can expect is improved cognitive function and healthier brain cells. Increasing levels of nerve growth factors act as fertilizer for nerve cell growth and survival. You'll have much less risk of cardiovascular and metabolic diseases. Your muscles will be stronger and your bone structure healthier. Our habits can put a lot of wear and tear on our body. Caffeine causes anxiety, insomnia, and headaches. In the digestive tract, ulcers, esophagitis, and gastroesophageal reflux disease, heart palpitations, and muscle twitching. Cigarette smoking, while it stimulates cognitive function in the short term, increases your risk of strokes and heart attacks, lung diseases, and cancer. Alcohol, while it may calm you down in the short term, can cause depression, insomnia, withdrawal symptoms, seizures, neuropathies, and alcohol dementia. Nutritional deficiencies, gallbladder disease, pancreatitis, kidney stones, and liver disease, including cirrhosis, all await you if you drink heavily, not to mention weight gain. If you learn to understand your healthy emotions, you'll have a lot less unhealthy emotions and less wear and tear on your body. You can learn to change the way you feel. Check out my website, thepotentmind.com. I'm Dr. Gilbert.